Thank you, Mr. Astenis, one and a half minutes. Thank you, Madam President. Mr. It seems evident now that political time is often uh, different than real-world deadlines. We are talking about 2015, and it's when it's clear that uh, any agreement uh, that will be enforced after that will be very doubtful that it will uh, give us the chance we need to uh, address this huge problem. Uh, we should pick emissions about then or earlier, not start discussing, start deciding what we should do after that. What we can do in, uh, in Durban is to commit for a second a commitment period under the Kyoto Protocol. If we don't do that, it's clear that the negotiations with the developing countries for a legally binding agreement uh, will be, it will be difficult not to collapse. And uh, as the Commissioner say, said, we are not the problem, but if we don't commit in the second, for the second period in the Kyoto, we will become part of the problem, we will become the problem. Uh, Commissioner, you said that Canada, Russia and Japan are not committing. We know that Canada did not respect its commitment, it increased the emissions by 26%. Russia is a very peculiar participant in Annex 1 countries, and Japan is the only one of the real participants that uh, did not commit for a second year period. So what was the news uh, that made us change our decision? And just a minute, President, just to say, could you commit, uh, Commissioner, that we, you are not going to support a political agreement, but you will stick to a legally binding agreement for Kyoto? Thank you very much, Mr. Afeni.